Yeah, yeah. Oh, sorry about that. I was wrapping up some important business. Hi, I'm Randy Prim. This is my first video on a series, which is the AI Field Trip Show. We're going to go all across the AI space and cover everything that's happening in AI. We're going to interview all the top people in the AI space, all the content creators. We're going to try to learn together, grow together, share together, have some good times. You bring your permission slip, I don't care. Let's get started. So this is my first week in AI, and it just so happens to be one of the craziest weeks in AI history. GPT-4 launched, Midjourney version 5 launched, Microsoft's new Copilot AI, Google adds AI features, Stanford releases Alpaca 7B. Things are happening so fast. Being brand new, it's crazy. But even when you're in the space, it's already crazy. Robert Scoble, Chief Strategy Officer at Infinite Retina, had this to say. It is the most new things in a week I have seen in my 40-year career of studying innovation. So things are picking up. And that's why I want to get going and start traveling around to figure out what is happening in the space. But I'm brand new. So where do I head? I need to head to some of the OGs. And the first person I want to talk to is my good man, Matt Wolf. Matt Wolf is one of the leading AI content creators in the space. He's on the pulse of everything AI. And since I'm new to this space, I decided to reach out to Matt for his advice on where to get started. Dude, this is my first week. And this is the craziest week apparently in AI history. I have to ask you, I'm brand new. What do you say to people like myself and others who are getting into the space? Where do you recommend we start? Yeah, so I mean, there's a handful of tools that I think everybody should sort of pay attention to to start. Uh, the three that I would say pay attention to right now are, you know, GPT-3, GPT-4. Uh, that's that's one, that counts as one. Uh, stable Diffusion, that's really probably the coolest, most flexible AI art platform. And then Midjourney is another AI art platform where there's a lot of really cool things happening right now. They just released their version five, which is ultra, ultra realistic imagery. And those are the three places to start. Now, if this is the week that you decided to get into AI, this has been the most hectic week in AI I've ever seen. So it's not normally a week like this, but... Uh, who knows? We might be entering a new era where every single week we're seeing advancements happen this fast. So um, my advice, <laughs> buckle up. <laughs> now, me and Matt work together in the Web3 space at Hard4 Gaming. We also go way back in the sense that both of us worked at fast food joints. Me, McDonald's, and he at Taco Bell. Oh, God, I hate my job. Definitely go check out Matt's YouTube channel and follow him on Twitter at Mr. Eflow. All right, next, we're going to head on over to YouTube and check out the channel The Inner Self, where they uploaded a video essay called The Future of AI, The Fate of Human Value. This is a very interesting video. It's 16 minutes long, but let's go ahead and watch the first minute. I don't think I'm alone in saying that I didn't foresee this really happening in my lifetime. We always knew about the possibilities of advanced AI technology, but they were abstract, a sci-fi dream not grounded in perceivable reality. The prevailing social wisdom always seemed to be that humanity was destined for slower, more incremental growth. In fact, it's always been a mystery as to whether humanity would really get the opportunity to advance any further on the ladder of civilization. And yet, this almost supernatural possibility has suddenly manifested. I don't see how this doesn't change everything we thought we knew. I really like where this is going. I like the style of this channel. I hope they continue to produce videos like this. There is a paradigm shift happening in AI. There is so much going on right now that I think to really bring it all together in a long form video essay is something that really lets people kind of put in perspective what's happening. And I really like the style. Keep it up, you guys. I'm a fan. Alrighty, next we're going to head off to mainstream media. That's right. Mainstream media has lately been talking about AI in just about every type of show from the last week tonight to South Park. That's right, South Park just recently featured ChatGPT in one of their episodes and actually used ChatGPT to write part of the episode. Now in the episode, the boys at the school use ChatGPT to text to their girlfriends. So their girlfriends are thinking, oh man, these are the most amazing boyfriends ever, but it's actually ChatGPT that's saying all this stuff and the boys are just copy pasting what the girl says into ChatGPT and then ChatGPT tells the boys what to text back to their girlfriends. Now this is bringing us some ethical things that I'm really curious how you all feel because as we've evolved in the language of the internet and the language of texting, uh, there's a lot of use cases where we're, we're actually using something that we didn't create to convey a message that we ourselves are having trouble conveying. For example, GIFs, emojis, memes. I know a lot of the times I've sent funny GIFs to friends when I just don't have the text or the words to say it. Now we're using ChatGPT. Where is the line? And 
is the line going to be there much longer as we evolve? These are questions that we're all bringing up in our heads. And I know after watching that episode, it really brought up to me, I don't know where the line's going to be. If I start using ChatGPT to help my vocabulary of how I want to express things or how to look at a different angle of how I might respond to somebody, is that wrong? I don't know. You tell me. Alrighty, well, that's it for this first field trip in the AI space. I hope you enjoyed it. There's going to be so many more of these episodes. If you guys want to give me suggestions down below in the comment section of people that I should interview, places that I should check out, tools that I should review or showcase, let me know. This show is going to be evolving as the space grows. Hopefully the show will grow too. I'm going to give you a piece of advice from my good friends, Tony Montana. Relax, take it easy. What a time to be alive. Follow me on Twitter at Randy Prim and on YouTube at Randy Prim, and I'll see you in the next video.